Now I recently reviewed an integrated amplifier by IOTA VX. The SA3 integrated amplifier, class AB, pushes out 45 watts over 8 ohms. Small footprint, very nice indeed. And I'll put a review link above so you can have a little look yourself at the video. This particular box though is not an integrated amplifier. In fact, it's a power amplifier. Again, it's 45 watts into 8 ohms. Again, it's small footprint. Again, it's class AB in type. A power amplifier, but you will need to plug this into a pre-amplifier. Now, if you have a dedicated pre-amplifier to hand, all well and good. But if you want to, and if you have one available, the SA3 amplifier I just mentioned from IOTA VX can be used as a preamp and very nicely too. So basically on the rear of the SA3 integrated amplifier are two little sockets called preamp. You can plug this power amplifier called the PA3 into the back of the SA3 and that will give you a preamp power amp combination. Now there are some great integrated amplifier designs out there. The SA3 is a very nice budget integrated. The problem is like any integrated amplifier, the preamp section of the amplifier and the power amp section of the amplifier is stuck in one chassis. And the risk of noise moving from one section to the other is very high. Separating the pre and the power amp sections into their own boxes, their own chassis, helps to isolate and reduce noise and improve sound quality. So while there are plenty of very nice, very high quality integrated amplifiers out there on the market right now, it's much easier to produce an even better, even more superior sounding pre-amplifier, power amplifier combo. The main issue, I repeat, is one of cost in that you're increasing the amount of components used and the amount of new components used. Now, having a pre-amplifier and a power amplifier also means you can use superior components. Normally, in an integrated amplifier, you're limited in space. But if you've increased your chassis into two chassis, you've got more space in each box. You can use better and more components, more superior components. You have that option at the very least. The IOTA VX PA3 power amplifier is a little surprising for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the footprint is small again, so you get that relatively small chassis. But that's not the only thing which is small. So is the price. We're only looking at 299 here. Now for a power amplifier, that's pretty low. Again, this is a class AB performer, 45 watts into eight ohms. You can use the power amplifier as a stereo power amplifier, or you can link two PA3 power amplifiers and turn those two into monoblocks. So one would look after each channel, one for the right, one for the left. What you do is you connect both of those to the same preamp, and that's how you would listen to your music. Using the PA3s as power amplifiers will increase the amount of power available, of course, so you get something like 100 watts into eight ohms. On the front is a simple power switch. Around the back are speaker terminals, an IEC power socket, and also sockets to connect your PA3 to a preamp. So let's talk about sound quality. And before I go into detail, let's remind ourselves here that this is a, a little power amplifier and it's a budget power amplifier, a 299. So I wasn't really expecting an awful lot from this particular box. And it's also one of the lowest, actually thinking about it, maybe the lowest price power amplifier I've ever reviewed. And broadly speaking, I was very impressed with its balanced neutral output. Upper mid-range and treble area, there was plenty of information. Down in the lower frequencies, bass was impressive too. Overall, the PA3 is a good solid machine. Because it's a, a budget unit, you do lose out on the extra piece of dynamic reach and the finesse around the upper mids and treble, while bass could be maybe a little bit organic. But then if I wanted that, I'd be spending £3,000 and not 300 what the PA3 does by separating the power amplifier is to lower as much noise as possible. This means that you're getting far more mid-range insight, detail and tonal balance than you'll generally hear in an integrated amplifier around this price. The confidence in the lower frequencies was high indeed, with bass providing a massy, hefty response. 
bass provided a real foundation to the music passing through, but it never added any emphasis, it never bloomed or added any warmth to the mid-range, so it retained its discipline, it stayed put, it stayed where it was supposed to be. And what I mean by that is when you have bass and it's doing its thing in a bassy sort of way at a particular point in the mix on the soundstage, if you don't have that discipline, what can happen is that the bass can bloom. It can sort of wash into other areas where it's not supposed to be. And it can sort of mask a piano here or lower the volume of some cymbals here and it gets in the way. And the whole track can be warm and fuzzy and just lacking in definition. You didn't get that with the PA3. The discipline of all the actual frequencies was intact and remained so throughout the sound test. I did note a slight just a slight coolness in the general presentation of one or two of the test discs. They tended to be country or jazz singer-songwriter, normally where the vocal is prominent, but you could only really discern this through close comparative tests. And you may only simply interpret this as a source of precision. That was a secondary benefit of the cool approach. Instrumental separation was excellent and each instrument was easily detectable and the sound stage was generally broad and spacious. Separating the pre and the power amplifier of any integrated is generally seen, as I say, as a good thing in terms of sound quality. But normally you'll be paying a lot. IOTA VX gives you the option of buying a power amplifier for a relative low cost, which is a great thing and certainly one to investigate. The PA3 will provide a relatively neutral output and it will never let you down. It provides great sound quality with great value for money. So what more do you want? And before I go, just a reminder that I am on Patreon and if you are able to support me, I'll put a link below in the description box. You can check out my Patreon page down there. Also, there are some social media links which I'll also put down there, including my own Facebook group and of course my website, which has years and years and years and years and years of content for you to read through. Again, a link down there, why not check that one out? Don't forget, you can comment as well. You're very welcome. Love to see those below. And if you do, keep it polite. No swearing. This is a family channel. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. And I hope to see you at the next. Until then, bye bye for now.